Chess friends, Adolf Hitler was a Nazi leader who rose power for Germany, you can call him bad man because he has treated humanity badly, but you can learn a lot from him, he was a brainwasher, greatest public speaker and a chess player also. His IQ was 140, which is around 2800 to 3000 LO ratings. Today I will show you a exciting game between Hitler bot and Magnus bot. Magnus started with English opening, Hitler played e4, g3, bishop fumetto line, Magnus wants to play like this, knight here, d3, or e3, knight comes to c6, bishop to g2, rather than playing standard moves like bishop here and knight f6, he played f5, his idea is to put the knight behind of the pawn, after playing castle, he will fight for the f file for the rook. Knight to c3, we have knight f6, e3 by Magnus, Magnus wants to play knight here, try to break the center with d4, g6 by Hitler, d4, bishop here, knight here, d6, both side castle short, b3, rook e8, get active the rook on e file, bishop here, bishop d7, Magnus played knight d5, supporting the center pawn with four different pieces, and white is threatening to take the knight, we have knight takes knight, pawn takes, Hitler moved his knight on b4, thinking, I am the world leader. I can go anywhere with my Lamborghini car, but best was to play knight e7, targeting back the pawn with knight, because after, a3, Hitler's knight get a very bad position, that's why overconfidence cause troubles for health, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes, rook goes to c1, ok, here the bishop is controlling center very well, another bishop is doing very good job, rook have open file, the queen have more space and he is supporting the d-pawn, d-pawn is a good asset for white. Controlling more space so black pieces can't move frequently, and these bishops are not so active as black pieces, the knight is very passive, no scope to go, these rooks are also inactive, that's why the position is plus 2 eval for white, we have rook to c8, queen to c2, queen f6, rook goes to d1, Magnus can play knight f4, the pawn can't take it because it's pinned to the queen, so after knight f4, knight e6, takes, takes, if you dare to play queen takes or rook takes, then bishop to d5. Pinning the piece to the queen with the supporting of the rook, you will lose material, so in this position Hitler played queen b6, maybe he wants to play c6, after retreating the knight and get active into the c6 square, b4, queen to d6, knight c3, the queen is just dancing horizontally on the board, Hitler closed the position by playing e4, he can play h5 on his next move, knight here, c6, takes his also available moves, or he have a another option to get active the knight by playing c5, takes, knight takes, ok we have rook up to d2, g5, knight back to e2, Magnus Carlsen threatening to play bishop takes bishop, also, his strategy is to play g4, takes, bishop takes pawn by supporting of the queen, try to make a clear e past pawn, ok he takes the bishop, queen takes bishop, rook d8, queen goes to d4, targeting the pawn, another plan is to play g4, no matter if you take the pawn or push it, if you push the pawn, then takes, takes, bishop will capture the e pawn, and white will make a passed pawn, when you have passed pawn, push baby, push, ok Hitler played bishop b5 which is the best move, activating the bishop, and targeting the important knight of white, that's how I calculate the best moves, knight goes to c3, Hitler puts his bishop into a good square, the bishop looks like a soldier. Fighting against white's whole army with no fear, queen takes a7, we have c5, best move, you should not take the pawn, let me show the variation, otherwise you will not understand my thinking process, queen takes pawn, takes, takes, knight takes, rook here, rook b8, and this position is not bad for black, the rook gets a open file and makes a powerful move, knight and bishop position is very tricky, and white have no enough pieces to attack the black's king, can you find some weaknesses for black? So, back to the position, we have pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn, you still can't take the pawn, so queen takes queen, knight takes, knight takes e4, Magnus sacrifices a knight, because knight can't take it, because of rook takes, the d pawn is a good asset for white, rook c7 to target this pawn, and seizing the 7th rank, 
which will be bad for black, so pawn takes, rook takes, b6, rook here, takes, rook here, takes here, rook here, f4, Hitler knows the on passant move which he played in the game, bishop takes. Bishop here, the bishop is protected by the bishop, so rook up to d5, there is no tricky move actually, if you take it then bishop takes, Hitler takes the rook, rook takes, rook check, king goes to f2, check, here, takes, check, here, Magnus have three pawn against one, can Magnus win the game? Let's see, bishop here, some dancing moves, rook goes to b7, seizing the seventh rank, and the black's rook also covered the second rank, so, the kings can't run from the laser security guard, we have h5, here, and few moves later, they exchanged their bishops, and after some moves later, rook to g7, targeting this pawn, rook takes, takes. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care see you soon.